could be the fastest team to approach the 500 mark. But just to take it a bit further, Mary, Coach also said it's not just about the players on this roster, but the former players and the former coaches as well that they attribute that success to. So definitely tilting his hat to that. And a big part of Penny Toller, who has been with this LA Sparks team since the beginning. 20 seasons with the Sparks. They celebrated her for their first home game. And you will also see her jersey in the Raptors alongside Lisa Leslie as well. Candace Parker with the first shot. And that is no good. And the rebound is brought down by LaToya Saunders. And as we look back at that big win that Washington had over Los Angeles a couple of weeks ago, it's so important for LA to get off to a good start. Take care of the basketball. 27 turnovers in that ball game that Washington turned into 38 points. It was a staggering differential. As Elena Deladon rises up, but Raquana Williams may have tipped it. Chelsea Gray swinging it to Tierra Ruffinpratt for three. That shot no good, but Neko Kumike underneath for the cleanup, and it is no good. But Elena Deladon fumbles the ball, goes out of bounds, and the Sparks will get it underneath. And the crowd here kind of assuming that that's going down and going to be two points for Los Angeles. But we talked about the interior defense. Neka, the O board cannot quite get it to go down. Neka, one of the most efficient players when it comes to finishing on the floor as Elena Deladon takes a trip to the bench. I believe that there's blood on the nose area. So immediately they will go to Tiana Hawkins, who's been tremendous off the bench. Tito said that might be one of my favorite players to coach at this point. She's lighthearted and understands what she needs to do for this team. They're going to take Deladon to the locker room. And hopefully we'll have an update for you as soon as we can. Candace Park with one on the shot clock, releases it, but that shot is no good. Christy Tolliver pushes in transition. And Latoya Sanders on the board for the first two of the game. In the suspended game in Las Vegas, what a first half by LaToya. She had an 18 minutes, 14 points on six of seven shooting. And it could have been a little bit worse too when you're looking at just that the first half that they were going against Vegas until that earthquake as another buzzer beater for Tierra Ruffinpratt. And you've got to look at the defense right now for the Mystics. That's two consecutive stops they've had on the defense event. Yeah, they just do a great job of getting back in transition, getting their early position. If there is penetration, just collapsing inside on it. And this is a team that over the last five games has re-embraced defensive concepts. Mystics holding their opponents this point to lows in 73 points on this season as Tierra Hawkins only inside for another two. Tiana Hawkins, excuse me. Tierra Ruffinpratt looking for some contact inside. Christy Tolliver coming up with the ball. Natasha Cloud at the top of the key. A lot of movement for the Mystics offense. Ariel Atkins lets the first one go, and that one will not find the bottom. Well, it has to be a relief that she missed the first one, and she seemed unstoppable from beyond the arc when in the earlier visit here. Five of eight. Nice pass by Chelsea Gray on the inside to find Neka Ogumike. She will take a trip to the free throw line. And Neka Ogumike is shooting 80% from the free throw line. And as we mentioned before, one of the most efficient players when it comes to finishing on the inside and especially for their two, but moving her game out to that three-point line, too. And you really have to when you've got these bigger players. Candace inside, Kalani Brown inside, Maria Vadiva will be returning, so having Chene and Mecca be able to step out beyond, you know, 10 feet, really important. She also celebrated a birthday. She sure did. In that span of the week break. July 2nd, I think. Hawkins. No good, but we know that she could knock that one down. We saw her knock down a few in warm-ups as Chelsea Gray is looking for something, but Natasha Cloud right there 
once again, the defense is something that has to be spoken on, and Mike Tebow said Natasha Cloud doesn't get the credit she deserves on defense event. Yeah, she's terrific, but at six foot, she has a lot of length, though. So she can cover some space, make it much more difficult for Chelsea Gray to turn the corner. Here, rough and crack guarded by Christy Tolliver. Tolliver outside to Neka Agumake for the three. Talked about watching folks during warm-ups. Neck up was hot. Shooting the ball. Atkins shot no good. 5-3. Sparks lead with 6-32 here in the game in the first. Candace Parker trying to whip it inside to Neko Gumake, but cannot connect. Neka going a little inside, outside. Used to seeing Rough and Pratt out there, and Neka inside, but Positionless basketball being emphasized this year, and you can see some benefits for NECA. Not having to get all that wear and tear in the paint. Saw a lot of that, a lot of injuries in the previous season as well, just stepping up. Saw Candace missing a few games in the previous season as well. NECA needed some time as she's at the top of the key with the steal. But Atkins. And the officials say that it was knocked off of NECA Agumake's knee from Ariel Atkins on the defensive effort to get back in transition. Great steal by Agumake, but not giving up the, on the play is Atkins. She just bears on down and eventually goes off NECA. Very interesting call when you're looking at the replay. And Latoya Sanders picks up the foul underneath on the opposite end. Yeah, I think Neka would agree with you. She's having a little conversation with the official. She wasn't looking for the foul on the other end. She was just saying that did not touch me on the way out as the Toy's first shot is no good. She was perfect on the season from the free throw line, just 13 of 13. So that's her first miss this season. Remember in the previous broadcast, I said I will never bring that up again if someone's perfect from the line because it's going to be a jinx. But if you think it, obviously, then it's your fault, Mary. Thank you so much. Sanders free throw ties everything up, but there's a foul with Raquana Williams being so aggressive to the basket, Mary. We understand how important and impressive she is from the three-point line, but it's those plays that really make her special. It really is because you've got to get up on her because you're worried about that three, you're worried about the long two, and then just the rip through and the hard step right to the bucket. First one is good for Raquana Williams, and in the two starts that she's had, she scored 18 against Las Vegas, 19 against Chicago, two wins that we said that the Sparks picked up as well, and even Mike Tebow said with her in that starting lineup, they found some consistency from the offensive end. And the aggressiveness showed up. She was 6 of 7 from the free throw line against Chicago. Kimbrough in the game for the Mystics. Tolliver with a quick reverse to Atkins, but that is going to be out of bounds. And that's also going to be the second turnover for the Mystics. The Mystics are outstanding at taking care of the basketball. They just have 12 turnovers per game. That is number one in the WNBA. Los Angeles with three in the early going. Chelsea Gray finding Neka Agumike again, but drawing a lot of attention on the block. Shot clock under 10 as Chelsea Gray sees if she can break down Chrissy Tolliver. Three, step back. No good. Crowd was ready to go off on that one. Nice run down the floor. Tiana Hawkins getting all the way down and being rewarded for the easy two. It's one of those, for Derek Fisher, you just don't want to give up anything easy to the number one offensive team in the league. Another three for Neka Agumake. And we see that is her 11-3 this season. You make one and the confidence really starts flowing. Hawkins to the basket again. She was looking for the official on her side to call it nothing there, but there is a block call on Neka Agumake. And that's going to be her first personal foul, second on the team. Earlier this season, Neka was four of four from three against Connecticut. She's got a great start going so far this afternoon. Dialed up from three, two times.
ball five to seven from distance. But New York seven and eight. That's with Amanda Zowie B overseas at Euro Basketball Tournament. And when they get to be full strength, playing much, much better basketball. Absolutely. I know a lot of teams at this point are waiting to have that full squad back. Sparks one of them, especially even the Mystics. Emma Missiman overseas as well. But we are hearing that she may be returning sometime soon, maybe a week. You know what else is interesting as you look at the standings? Phoenix has played only 11 games. Seattle has played 16. So at some point, the, the script's going to flip, and we're going to see a whole lot of intense weeks where a lot of games are being played. So much yet to evolve on this WNBA season. Janae Gumake finding her sister on the wing. He tried to feed it on the inside to Tierra Ruffin Pratt. Cannot connect there. I love the accountability that NECA brings. Immediately taps her chest, looks at Tierra, and says, that's on me. And as a coach, you're looking at the type of turnover as well as an aggressive dead ball turnover. That's one of them, right, Mary? He got it out because the last thing you want to do is let this Washington team get out and run. Previous shot no good by Hawkins. NECA Gumake gets the ball on the block. Chelsea Gray asking for the screen at the top of the key. Hesitation move. Seven on the shot clock. Nega Gumake lines up again. Three times the charm. <laughs> three for three from beyond the arc. Gray doing a terrific job of finding her. Ariel Atkins with the quick pull up. And that'll be her first two of the game and the challenge for mike tebow and his staff now do you change the scout do you tell your team to get out and play next because that's going to open up driving lanes it's going to open up passes inside and then you have a williams rising up so that scouting report is getting a little bit more interesting when you have Raquana Williams scoring at the rim as well as a pull-up. Only two players have scored for Los Angeles. NECA with 11, Raquana with four. Have a few subs on both sides of the floor. Tierra Ruppenpratt goes out for Sydney Weiss, who was phenomenal in the first matchup off the bench against the Mystics. And Deladon is still in the locker room. We have not seen her reappear on the bench. Sanders as well as Ariel Atkins off the floor for the Mystics. And the rebound is tapped out, but it will stay underneath with the Mystics. And Hawkins has been solid, but only averaging 16 minutes a game. So extended minutes will be a challenge for her. Tolliver working into Maisha Hines Allen that short. Sid Weiss running hard down the floor, parks herself in that left corner. Chelsea Gray working her magic on the inside and finishes with ease. It's all about spreading the floor, isn't it? Because it opens up that driving lane for Chelsea Gray. She is a tough one-on-one -on -one check. Sparks with the six-point lead with 227 here in the first quarter as there is a foul. Underneath the basket, that was going to go against Chanae Agumake as Ariel Powers will take a trip to the free throw line. But let's look on the other side for Chelsea Gray. The floor is spread. Chanae kind of pops out, creates some space, and going to work. Chelsea Gray, leading scorer for the Los Angeles Sparks. Who is now a part of the scoring group. As you mentioned, Neko Agumake as well as Raquana Williams on the board as well. As that shot goes down for Ariel Powers out of Michigan State. You called a couple of her games as well, and she is a scoring machine, to say the least. She has played for Susie Merchant with Michigan State, and she just, that place just rocks. Over 10,000 fans up per game. And energy personified. Raquana Williams trying to get on the board for three, and does. Confidence, not worried about if I make a mistake, I'm coming out, just going out and playing and doing what she does best, and that's shooting the basketball on her way. She keeps this up to another double figure scoring game. As some nice ball movement by the Mystics on the inside to get Tiara Hawkins. Another look at the rim. Yeah, beautiful dish by Tolliver. 
the difference in this ball game. Three point shooting. LA four of seven. And so far, Washington has not made one. Let's let's update that number. I was just about to say, get your white out, Mary. Another one goes down for the Sparks. They are shooting 62% from the three-point line. Now that one goes down for Christy Tolliver. She's like, finally, <laughs> looking at the bench. In the first meeting, L.A. was 3 of 19 from three. I asked Mike Tebow, what was the difference between that first matchup and now? And it was quite frank. They didn't have a lot of time with that core that they were playing with. Candace Parker, that was her first game back as Christy Tolliver lines up for another one, but that's no good. Sydney Weiss with the rebound. He said, now they're just playing together. And he's not a bit surprised that they're on a two-game win streak. Between the legs from Chelsea Gray. And surprise, surprise, Neka Agumake perfect from the three-point line. Four for five, actually, from the three. 14 points in the first quarter. Foul on the floor on the Sparks. And that's going to go against Sydney Weiss. It's going to be her first foul, but... What a, what a show by Neko Gumake. She had 12 points the first match against the Mystics, and she's already passed that. We saw her shooting early, and a lot was going down, and she just rolled right into the game at the same thing going. Well, if you are a military woman or veteran, we want to let you know our community supports you. Find your safety zone at L.A. County MVA. To talk to a veteran service officer, call 1-800-4-LA-VETS. Over 30,000 female veterans in the Los Angeles area, and it's all about helping them through the experiences they've had. As Chelsea Gray has a nice dish to Sydney Weiss, and the Mystics almost responded had it not been knocked out of bounds. Also welcoming in Elena Beard for the Spark side and Kalani Brown. Off the back of Elena Beard, Ariel Powers definitely has that in her trick of bags. Without Della Don, it's been a tough go so far as we see the inbounds. Off the back side. And it also picks up the foul. It's one of those you just, uh, you don't want to be on that tape. <laughs> at the highlight reel for Ariel Powers. Unfortunately, there are a few people on that highlight tape. But she finds a way to score, as she is doing in today's matchup. And off the bench, she has six. What a quarter of basketball by Los Angeles. Shooting the ball, taking care of the ball. Just three turnovers, only two points off those turnovers by Washington. And they're going to take a stop here. It's a defensive three seconds. There's 0.6 difference in the shot clock and game clock as Chelsea Gray will step up to the line, shooting 96% from her team. Mike Tebow trying to figure things out without Deladon, trying to find 17 points, nine rebounds, almost three assists per game. just does it all as Raquana Williams takes a trip to the scores table to check in for Elena Beard. Actually, Kalani Brown is going to take a trip to the bench. Sydney Weiss taking the ball out for the Sparks. 10.6 on the game clock here in the first. Chelsea Gray by herself. Off the glass, no good. Picks up the rebound. Is that good? Shot is no good and off the glass as it is a 29-21 finish for the Sparks. It has been a three-point barrage for Los Angeles. NECA leading the way, four of five from distance. Raquana Williams says, how about me? She's two of three. Eight-point lead for LA after one.
first quarter with four threes. And let's play around the world. Lots of time. Great rhythm. Balanced on the release. And just feeling good and her teammates responding. All of last season, Mecca made nine three-pointers. Three pointers. She has 13 so far this year and four today. Neka Agumake said, I don't just want to be the player that's finishing on the inside. That's something that she worked on in this offseason, stretching the floor. Her sister would say the same thing, just being more of a consistent shooter. And we have seen the benefit of that. Think about Neka going all the way back to her freshman year at Stanford. She does not take a shot unless she believes she's going to make it. She doesn't have a, I'm just going to jack this up and see what happens. That's not her mentality. Spock on the end by Chinea Gumake and Maisha Hines Allen. Quick toss inside to Chinea, trying to find something to work, and he does. And everything seems to be going right for the Agumakes. That's a great day so far. Ariel Powers with the ball at the top of the key. Finding Hawkins, but it's knocked away by Sydney Weiss. Her body is on the floor, and that's going to be called a jump ball. Shanae. Inside. Nice pass from Kalani Brown and takes on the interior defense by the Mystics and comes away with two. So jump ball between Kalani Brown and Tiana Hawkins. She go to Sid Reese. She tries to, Shanae Agumake, instead comes up with the ball. Let's read of the situation by Kalani. She's got the size and the length on Hawkins. We continue to see her grow as this season progresses as well. Chelsea Gray working the top of the key. But her pass is short, trying to connect with Shanae Agumake. And Elena Beard, the two-time defensive sure. player. On here, too. Flies in for the first still of the game for her. Elena Beard working on the inside. Nothing there off the glass, but Kalani Brown can't get anything there. Chenea Gumake tries to fly in, but the Sparks walk away with no points on the board. In Beard's last game against Las Vegas, she had five steals. Great help by Kalani inside. Cloud working the ball around the perimeter. Once again, Hawkins' shot is short. Hawkins 0 for 3 from the three-point line. Chelsea Gray trying to find a lane on the inside. And once again, creates a magic. She's just doing a beautiful job, and she's got length on her, but the ability to shoot over it and create space. Tasha Cloud with the drive all the way to the basket gets bumped. So she will take a trip down to the free throw line, but Kirsten Watson has an update for us. Kirsten, what can you pick up? Thanks, Angel. So Elena Deladon, she's currently questionable to return. She went out with a facial injury. We saw her kind of grab their face area, maybe a little blood, but she is questionable to return. So we may see her back in a second. Back to you. So that update for Elena Deladon. Could be good, could be bad. Hoping for the best for Elena Deladon, but a tough blow for them. Still, we have a game going, and Sparks are up. The 21 lead over the Mystics at this point, but we're looking at the result of Elena Deladon leaving the game to a facial injury. That's the update from the team. So she takes the shot there, and now we see her grab her nose, continues to play on. And after this play is over, goes right to the bench. You can see her once again. <laughs> Natasha Cloud knocks down the free throw, but going back to Elena Deladon, she did reach for her face. She went to the bench shortly. 
there for a short term and then went to the locker room and we have yet to see her return to the bench. But during this five game winning streak by the Mystics, they are averaging 90 points per game. Their opponents, 66 points per game. The differential, 23 points, six points per game. But right now, it is LA dominating. And Sydney Weiss, a part of the three point party from the outside, knocking down her first shot for well, her first three for today's game. Sid Weiss, terrific in the last game against Chicago after DNP by coach's decision the past two. Talk to her before the game, and Angel, it's the same message. Worked hard, had a great week, ready to go. Candace Parker returning to the floor for the Sparks for Chenea Gumake. And three new bodies on the floor for the Mystics. Parker has played only five minutes, has not scored, has a couple of rebounds. Atkins working her way all the way to the rim, but is stripped out of the air by Sydney Weiss, who finds Elena Beard to Candace Parker in the corner for three, and that one's no good. Trying to join the party from distance. Tolliver only inside, trying to find Latoya Sanders. Cloud rising up for three. When you see Hawkins turn that one down. You, you miss a couple and you, some doubt can come into your mind, but Cloud taking care of it. And the first made three for Washington. Washington one for seven from the three-point line as Elena Beard is also on the board now for the Sparks. And it goes back and forth, Mary. Just Tolliver knocking down the shot there, and both teams seem to be in rhythm offensively. Tolliver, especially without Deladon, going to offensively play an even bigger role for Washington. Elena Beard once again. Beautiful finish by the lefty on the left side. And Atkins down at this end isn't coming on down, and... Oh. And the Mystics were looking to see if that shot was going to be counted. But Ariel Atkins is at the other end of the she floor. She down now. now takes a seat on the floor. So that's another blow to the Mystics. As Ariel Atkins isn't putting any pressure on that right foot. Elena Beer comes off the bench. Big crossover, a little hesitation. The finish at the rim. She's got four points. And L.A. up 12. A little shaking up there with Elena Deladon, who's already left the game with a facial injury. And now Ariel Atkins takes a trip to the back after this play here. Well, it looks like Candace Parker steps on that right foot of Atkins. You can see her expression immediately takes all the pressure off of it. So right now, much to be concerned about. The two leading scores for the Washington Mystics, not on the floor. Back in the locker room. But Hawkins with that next man up mentality, finishing for two at the other end. Ten point game, Sparks ahead. Kalani Brown working on the inside against Sanders. Nothing there as Hawkins doing it on both ends of the floor, picks up the rebound. Ariel Powers short on the three, but a second chance opportunity for Latoya Sanders. And Sydney Weiss is talking to the officials because she was complaining about the, four, the off form by Sanders on that rebound. Uh, Weiss was trying to battle for position, battle for a rebound, but Latoya Sanders able to corral it and basically just said, get off me. Well, and it worked because they have the ball here. Ten seconds on the shot clock with Tolliver at the top of the key. Sanders turning down the shot to find Tolliver. And that's the second drain three for the Mystics. 
but what an intelligent play by Sanders. Traffic all leaves Tolliver, so she just has the patience, swings it on back, and Derek Fisher having his conversation with the officials now. And the Mystics bring this within seven, especially not having Elena Deladon and Ariel Atkins on the floor with them. Sanders swings it, and Tolliver, if you give her this kind of time, she's gonna hit from 30 feet. Well, if you want to avoid the L.A. traffic this summer, like we all do, go Metro to catch the L.A. Sparks in action. How was traffic for you today? You know what? It wasn't too much anime. traffic, but the anime. Anime is so, in the house at the convention center. So the traffic with a little bit of people watching, that's always entertaining, driving in the Staples Center, Chicago Way. Might have been a little late to the production meeting, but... LA had built a 13-point lead at 36-23, but since then, a 10-4 run, and always in the middle of things, Christy Tolliver. So the interesting thing, and the Sparks have had their moments of this as well, is when one player goes down, even if it's your leading scorer, it's next man up mentality, and Mike Tebow is one of the best coaches in the league. The winningest coaching in the winningest coach in the WBA, and he's like next person up. Tiana Hawkins and Chris Tolliver showed us why they have the confidence to continue to push on. But both Atkins and Deladon, I mean, that, your two leading scorers, those are some big shoes to fill. The interior defense of Deladon and all the different things she does, but Atkins and what she can do with her on-ball defense. Williams with the ball at the top of the key. Rises up for three. Sydney, we thought that was good, but that is short off the key. Tolliver once again loading up, but they're going to get Hawkins for the moving screen. And now Raquana and Tiana going at it. Mike Tebow kind of comes on out. And if you can remember in the first matchup, they were going back and forth after a foul in that first matchup. I've forgotten that. Laquana makes a whole lot of contact. Yield, are you talking to me? And no surprise that the officials are going to go to the scorer's table as both coaches are looking for an explanation. And just Parker trying at to half court. mediate Chelsea Gray. <laughs> Today, Peacemaker. All right. We have double technical fouls charged. So double technical fouls are called here for Tiana Hawkins as well as Raquana Williams. We also have double technical fouls. Impressive performance by LA. And there's also two technical fouls assessed to both coaches. So Mike Tebow with his hands in the air trying to figure things out, as well as Derek Fisher, I think is just leaving the situation on the floor. Well, just to see all the Sparks players just get between Raquana and everybody else and say, Let, let's just get this thing herded back on over to the bench. Neko Gumke tried to connect with Raquana Williams. Nothing there, but they do end up with the ball underneath. 16 seconds left on the shot clock. But with the tees on both coaches, limiting now how much you can complain, how involved you can get with your disagreements with the officials. Seven on the shot clock. Chelsea Gray rising up for three. That one's short. Sanders with the rebound and Kristen Tolliver with the ball. Natasha Cloud, quick rotation to aerial powers. That's... An air ball, but 10 seconds left on the clock for the Mystics. Ariel Powers bodying herself on the inside and finishing with the hook. And they have cut the lead to five. 12 4 run by the Mystics. No Ariel Atkins, no Elena Deladon. Tierra Ruffin Pratt with a beautiful move on the inside. Hesitation by Ariel Powers. Get it to the bucket and one for the Mystics. And to your point, no excuses made by this Mystic squad missing their top two scores on the floor. 
The drive to the bucket. This has to feel good. Member of the Mystics for so long. Rough and Pratt. And Ariel Powers completes the play, knocking down the free throw. And it's a four-point game, and another technical foul is assessed. And that's a signal by the officials. By Roy Golbian. Ruffin Pratt was in the corner. Clearly said something that the official took exception to. And Chrissy Tolliver right away knew it was going against her and walked straight to the free throw line. So it is a one possession game, Mary. 42-39 Sparks with 335 here in the first half to go. So any momentum that LA had built up kind of starting to wane here. And a lot of free throws for the Mystics stopping the game as well as knocking down free throws. Raquana Williams from the outside stops the bleeding just a bit. Beautiful job of reversing the basketball, being patient, and finding Raquana. She is now three of five from distance. It's one way that you answer a run for the Mystics. Powers looking for Sanders Mismatch. underneath. Draws the double team, but Sanders throws the ball to the second row here in Staples and looking at Raquana Williams on this last three. Beautiful release inside out. We saw that earlier from Ruffin Pratt one more time. One more time for Necker. Luma K. That's five threes on the night. And you can blow a lead right back up quickly with made three-pointers. L.A. on fire this afternoon. Nine of 16. Five threes for Neka Agumake is her career high as Ariel Powers responds with a three of her own. Raquana Williams trying to force the situation against Natasha Cloud, but loses the ball in front of her own bench. You were talking about the bench for the Mystics. Hawkins, 10 points. Ariel Powers in nine minutes, 14 points. And for the Mystics, both of their players in the double figures are off the bench. No one is in double figures from the starting five. As they have the ball with 10 on the shot clock. Cloud. No good. Candace Parker with the rebound as Tiana Hawkins is going to be called with the over the back. The Mystics were fortunate that they got that foul because going the other way, just completely open from half court on, was rough and proud. She understands what Candace Parker loves in offense. She said the best points are transition points. So when you know when Candace Parker gets the ball, it's coming towards you. How would LA? 48 first half points. Candace has not scored and doesn't have an assist. But Chelsea Gray knocking down the three. And once again for the long two from Christy Tolliver. And now she is in double figures for the starters in the Mystics. Sparks 51 points in this first half so far. Most points they've had in the season is 50 against New York, and that was on June 4th as Candace Parker tried a little doozy there. Yeah, beautiful try by Parker. Great block by Hawkins. Hawkins outside, no good. It's here, Ruffinkrat with the rebound. And we are at a minute here in the first half. Chelsea Gray off the glass. Begging for the foul, but nothing there. Ariel Powers, once again, the pump fake. Looking for contact, nothing there. Laquana Williams for three. And at this point, everyone's saying, settle down. <laughs> this has been going very quickly as Tolliver is forcing the situation against Laquana Williams and gets the bucket to bring it within five. We got a shootout at Staples as we end the 4th of July weekend with fireworks in this first half. Great way to put it. Chelsea Gray working on aerial power. Seven on the shot clock. 
and Chrissy Tolliver disrupts that entire play, knocks it out of bounds. And the Sparks will get it back with four on the shot clock. Also an eye on the game clock, 10.3, until this first quarter, first half is done. Tierra Ruffin-Pratt is going to be called call. for the five-second call. She was losing her footing, going out of bounds, too. Thought she had Candace Parker at the last second. Just well defended by the Mystics. So no shot attempt for the Sparks in that possession. Seven, six here for the Mystics. Doesn't get a shot off against Candace Parker, and that will do it for the first half. Sparks scored 51 points in this first half. That's the most in any half this season for the Sparks. And they are getting it done, mostly from the three-point line, shooting 55%. Doing a beautiful job from beyond the arc. Mystics keeping themselves in the ball game by shooting the ball well from the free throw line. We got a big differential there at plus eight. Seven players are on the board for the Sparks, but let's figure out why as we throw it down to Kirsten Watson with Derek Fisher. Thanks, Angel. Coach, a strong start. What works well for this team in this first half? Um, I mean, we're not playing great, but I think we're, we're, we're fighting hard, and that's, that's, uh, that's what we want to see every night. And how do you take advantage with having two of their top scorers out? How do you take advantage to continue in the second half? Um, just to still play the game the same way. You know, not get caught up in the score, who's in or who's out. Um, offensively, trust your teammates, move the basketball. Defensively, communicate and be there for one another. Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kirsten. Well, the Sparks looking to find a way to contain Tiana Hawkins and Ariel Powers. And until that, that will do for the first half with the score 51 to 46. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with interviews, highlights, stats, and more right after the break. Earlier today, Kirsten Watson had a chance to catch up with Tierra Ruffin-Pratt. Let's see what she picked up. Tierra, you played with the Mystics for six seasons from the D.C. area, surrounded by all of your family, and you made the decision to come out west to play for the Sparks. How has your transition been so far? Oh, well, it's been great. I've been having a lot of fun. Um, my teammates have been great. They've embraced me, and the coaches have given me a lot of confidence as, long, as well as my teammates. So it's been great. Who have you learned from most on this team? Um, by far, A.B. Uh, she's been like a great mentor to me. I knew when I came out here that she would be one of the people I would be in her ear the most. She was kind of the reason I made the decision to come after talking to her um, a couple times. So I think A.B. is probably the person I've been her, in her ear the most. And you've established yourself as a defensive player in this league. What's it like playing alongside A.B. and having this opportunity with her? It's been great. I'm learning a lot. Um, picking up on some of her habits and her techniques uh, have been life-changing for me. It's been enhancing for my defensive skills um, and just giving me the confidence to press up and do a little bit more in defense. And this afternoon, you have the opportunity to play your, your former team for the second time this season. How are you feeling about this game? Um, this is a good redemption game for us. The last game, uh, they gave us a good butt whooping. Uh, so we're just coming out a little bit more focus on a two-game winning streak, trying to keep our streak alive. Thanks so much, Tara. Good luck. Thank you. Back to you guys. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Sparks' upcoming schedule. They hit the road for three games, so we'll discuss it right after this. Consent of WNBA Enterprises. Welcome back. It's halftime here at Staples Center. I'm going to take a look at the Sparks' upcoming schedule and just see what they have going on after this game that they have with the Mystics. And they are on the road for the next three trips, Mary. Yeah, it really gets intense. They will leave early tomorrow morning to head to Dallas. And that's exactly right. That is a matinee in Dallas. So a very quick turnaround. 
and then on to Indiana and Atlanta. Keep in mind, as you look at the schedule, at some point, we would expect Maria Vidiva to be getting back with the squad, so that'll provide a huge lift. Not sure when that'll be, but... Yeah, certainly things change a whole lot when you head on the road. A huge lift indeed if they get Maria Vadiva back for the upcoming games. And then when they do return, it will be against the Dallas Wings, the first opponent that they have on the road. So we'll see what we have when they get back. We've got more halftime coverage on the way. We'll have highlights and stats when we come back. still in the game well they're in the ball game because they've been aggressive they've gotten themselves to the free throw line and made up some of the differential there and their bench has responded 24 points from the mystics bench and as we mentioned before tiana hawkins going off with 10.6 rebounds as well as 14 points for ariel powers who has also been very efficient from the free throw line seven for seven perfect from that department what an outstanding job by chelsea gray she's on her way to a triple double as well eight points five rebounds seven assists just one turnover we've got a shootout at staples well chelsea gray is definitely getting it done for the spark side and before we get things going we want to see if we could take a look with our third member of the team kirsten watson Thanks, Angel. So we've got an update. We saw Ariel Atkins go down in the second quarter on her right ankle, but she is expected to return, and so we should see her back on the court shortly. Back to you. Thanks, Kirsten. We did see Ariel Atkins warming up after, well, during that halftime part of the game. So we're, that's good news for the Mystics at this point. We have yet to see Elena Deladon come back to the floor. She's still in the back being treated with the facial injury that she suffered in the first half. But this team's still getting it done, and it's good news to have Ariel Pack, Ariel Atkins back. Well, she's a big, big part of this team. Second leading scorer, tremendous defender. To Los Angeles, if the three ball doesn't continue to fall, look for them to start getting the ball inside a little bit more. Trying to work it out. 12 points in the paint for the Sparks, 14 for the Mystics. We were talking a little bit about Chelsea Gray over the last three and a half ball games. 25 assists, just six turnovers. She's done an outstanding job in her decision making while leading this team in scoring. Chelsea Gray trying to gain the votes for All Star that is just around the corner. Tuesday, I think the voting ends for the fans, so get online, get to your WNBA app or. You're on your laptop. Go to WNBA.com. It is so easy it's to vote. Incredibly easy. I was just Googling Chelsea Gray. You put in the name, all of a sudden that box comes up and it says this candidate is available to be an all-star. All you have to do is click on it. You get 10 votes per day and you get to do it all over again. Once again, it does close shortly. So we want to make sure that you're getting your favorite players to Dallas where the all-star game is going to be for this season. Tolliver with a quick outside shot, and that's no good. Neko Bumike will pick up her fourth rebound. I think you meant Las Vegas. I thought I said Las Vegas, and I did not. Thank you for having my back. I appreciate it. Well, the team is heading to Dallas, so we do have <laughs> Dallas on our minds. Tira Ruffinfrat, outside shot, no good. So the newer franchise gets the all-star game there. I was just in Vegas for a little bit of summer league as well. July 27th at Mandalay Bay Event Center. Deanna Hawkins shot from the outside is short. I was listening to the Las Vegas broadcast and they talked a lot about the festivities that will be going on. It is going to be a blast. It's going to be very interesting. Already one of the parties. Snoop Dogg is there. And who's the DJ? None other. It's Cam Beige. There you have it. Makes you wonder what kind of music will Liz Campbell spin. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'd ask her to put a little playlist for us pre-game so we can be prepared for the broadcast. Natasha Cloud with the ball with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Tiana Hawkins, quick turnaround, and her shot is over the rim. 
Chelsea Green behind the back to Sierra Ruffin Pratt. Nothing there. Under 10, Chelsea Gray, but there is a beating of process there against Natasha Cloud, who will pick up the foul. Her third. Her third foul in the first team foul. Just the team's fifth foul called in this ballgame. L.A. with nine. Chenay saddled with three personal fouls in just seven minutes of play. So when you're looking at the scattering report and the keys for Mike Tebow, he said we have to make sure we get to the free throw line. We have to make sure we take care of the ball and maximize our opportunities. They are doing that so far. Sparks take a timeout. So we will get you all caught up right after the break. game but a couple of us were up half great defense i yep, mean the exactly goal was right. unbelievable had us definitely wondering how it was going to end but once they scored i see our rocker crack finishes and gets released in transition I cannot say enough about the passing ability of chelsea gray she rocked back and the strength to just nail her just in stride for two well, she has a lot of practice. Right now, she has eight assists in today's match. That's Chrissy Tolliver trying to see if she can get some things going on the inside to LaToya Sanders. Here's the pass by Chelsea Gray. Wind it up and let it fly. Ball never touches the floor. It's like right off the practice floor. Do you know what's so impressive about Chelsea Gray? And if you're a kid watching this game right now, it's her knowing where she wants to go with the ball, but not looking at her target. So knowing the defender is going to look at where she's going, but knowing that Sierra Ruffinpratt was in stride, that's impressive. The other thing I love is if you run hard every time, she will find you. It is worth all the effort. It's a great point, Mary, and I just remember during my playing days, my post players telling me, I have to make sure that if I'm running and exerting all this energy, that you're at least looking my way. Chelsea Gray finds a way to reward anyone on her side that's sprinting the floor. You mentioned it already. Eight assists, eight points, five rebounds. Neko Gunke tried to tip it out to Raquana Williams after the jump off to Sue Tolliver. A lot of contact on the side. She had Raquana Williams and Neko Gumake that came over for the double team. A game like this, you start thinking about career highs for Chelsea Gray. 11 is her career high for assists. Sanders to Hawkins on the wing for three. And Hawkins has had a tough night from the three-point line. He gets a rebound and still can't connect on the inside. And she is 0 for 6 from 3, and she couldn't miss in warm-ups. But it all counts. Candace Parker saying it should be going towards the Sparks. Nonetheless, it is staying with the Mystics. 14 on the shot clock. Talk. Ariel Atkins. I don't know if it was an air ball or if the ball was deflected. But it didn't make it very far. Didn't make it there. Chelsea Gray going against Natasha Cloud. Nothing there. Tolliver so speedy coming off the screen. But Hawkins can't handle. And Chelsea Gray picking up the ninth assist to none other than Neko Gumake. How good is Chelsea Gray? She's not in the top ten in all-star voting at this point. But maybe L.A. Sparks fans can make a push. You get 10 votes apiece. You got three days. Let's get her to Vegas. That all-star break is quickly approaching. 27th is when it all goes down in Las Vegas. 
and they're excited to host a lot of festivities in store. And a couple of players, Candace Parker was the captain last year on the flip side with the Mystics. Elena Deladon was also the captain on the other side, and Candace Parker walked away with the W for the new format for the WBA, but let's see if we can get them to sit back. Chelsea Gray was there as well as Deco Gumake, Candace Parker. To review the last four games, including this one for Chelsea Gray. Seven assists, two turnovers. Six assists, no turnovers. Five assists, three turnovers today. Nine assists, just one turnover. And she's your leading scorer. I mean, so impressive at this point for Chelsea Gray, Deco Gumake with 19.5 rebounds. Candace Parker, five rebounds, hasn't been on the board as far as scoring yet, but that's very interesting when you're looking at the numbers. I don't know if I've ever watched the Sparks play and not seen Parker score. But a nine, excuse me, an 11 point lead. Just shows the depth and the versatility of this squad. And they had some practice to do that with her missing a good portion of the first part of the season due to that hamstring. There's a lot of concern for momentum coming off the two straight wins, the long break. Candace Parker with her sixth rebound, trying to see if she can get on the board here. And up. And one for Candace Parker. That's a tough check for Hawkins with Parker on the move. So it didn't take long for Candace Parker to get on the board after we brought it up. Going right at Tiana Hawkins, finishing with the contact. I can't read lips. <laughs> for Candace Parker. We'll let that one go. Sanders at the top of the key, looking on the inside instead, dials up her own number. It's one of those shots you have to take. If you don't, everything is so compressed. Sanders has got to step up and take it, and she does. And I think she realized that her eyes first went to the block. Trying to see if she can get an inside touch, but just playing that far off, she did her job knocking down the shot. Echo Bumake guarded by Sanders. And a lot of contact underneath. Ariel Atkins trying to keep Candace Parker out of the paint. And picks up a foul there. The activity of Candace Parker moving without the basketball on the weak side with her length. She is such a tough check. Nisha Hines Allen coming in the game for Latoya Sanders. Again, Elaine Deladon played one minute of this ball game before heading to the locker room with a facial injury. Look on the inside by Chelsea Gray. Great foul. Unfortunately for Chelsea Gray, you're not going to get that as assist. That would have been her 10th. Flirting with a triple double. Nine assists, 8.6 rebounds for Chelsea Gray. You know, it's interesting. Every coach, opposing coach, we sit down with Chelsea Gray is the first name that comes out of their mouth. Like, we got to take care of Chelsea Gray. We got to contain Chelsea Gray. And it's, it's tough because of all the different things that she does well. A few of those things that she does well is just making sure everybody is on the same page. So we've talked about it in the open how she's the glue of this team keeping everybody together and she has the voice as a leader to hold everyone accountable to what they're doing on the floor 10 on the shot clock for the mystics cloud off to atkins spotting up long two misses everything chelsea gray looking up the floor outstanding defensive job here in the third quarter by los angeles they have given up two points spin move underneath by Chelsea Gray, leads to Tierra Ruffin-Pratt in her 10th assist for Chelsea Gray. Ring it up. Eight points, seven rebounds, 10 assists. And an offensive charge with Tiana Hawkins going right at Raquana Williams. 
And that is her fourth foul, which is of concern if you're looking here. A lot of time left in this game. Well, you just don't have the depth when you take Elena Deladon out. And on point, Chelsea Gray. <laughs> it's just, how does she do it? Houseway. Just, how, I mean, three people around you, you're falling, you still on the dime get the ball to your teammate. That's impressive. Biggest lead of the game for Los Angeles. Natasha Plow going at Raquana Williams to try to wrap her up on the way in. But that is going to go against Raquana Williams. That her that is her third personal foul. And just a terrific job to come out after halftime by Los Angeles. The lead cut to five. Just a furious comeback in that second quarter by Washington. Really putting it together. The bench played great. But L.A. in this third quarter playing well together. And a 14-2 run. Excuse me. They have given up just three points in the third quarter. So we often talk about the offensive side for the Sparks and how that's starting to come together. But defensively, as well as Derek Fisher telling us, we got to find two some things defensively in that week off. 15-point game here for the Sparks. Sydney Weiss in the game. She missed Parker. Parker working on the inside. Three jerseys. That shot too hard on the inside. Mystics really forcing the issue, getting the ball to Tierra. Tiana Hawkins underneath. Ariel Powers with the rebound. Faked it to the outside. Comes back and says, ah, I got the two. Nice job with the misdirection. Powers, 14 points. The leading, excuse me, 16 points. The leading score. So what do you get with Chelsea Gray with 10 assists? Well, you also have Candace Parker that can give you the ball on the dime. It does just that for Neko Dunke. Never get tired of watching that combination. Teardrop for Tolliver, no good. Tolliver, 5 for 11 from the field. As there was a connection trying to be made there, but then you can see on the floor for the Sparks, they're saying, hey, let's make sure we're taking care of the ball. Oh, come on. I mean, you got to go home run every once in a while when you're Chelsea Gray. Every once in a while. When you have 10 assists. Natasha Cloud. Short on that shot. Natasha Cloud. That went three is Chelsea Gray. You can put us on repeat. So she's just doing it all, assisting, getting to the rim. And knocking down the shot, 10 points, 10 assists, looking for that triple-double, needs two rebounds to finish that one off. Maisha Hines-Allen with a beautiful curl on the inside, nice dime from Tiana Hawkins. Career-high rebound for Chelsea Gray. Beautiful dish pass by Candace Parker. Finding Neka Agumake. And that's just a lot of trust. Understanding that she's going to cut, she's going to finish. And experience. Been there, done that. Hawkins dials it up. A tough night on the outside. Tiana Hawkins 0 for 7 from the three-point line. How about Neka's numbers? 25 points, 7 rebounds. for 10 from the floor, 5 of 6 from 3. Great from the outside. You bet. Really, it feels like Chelsea Gray fireworks show. 13 points and 10 assists for Chelsea Gray, who is doing it all for her squad today. This by Gray will match a career high. She's got a career high in rebounds already. Too many steps for the Mystics, and the officials had a lot of help from this entire lower bowl on that call as well. Three new 
Fresh faces for the Sparks. Elena Beard, Kalani Brown, and Cindy Weiss now in the game. Working the screen, finding today 10 on the shot clock. Chanae's minutes limited with the foul trouble, just seven so far in this ballgame, two points. And that three is going to be good for Ariel Atkins. Only her first of the night. Very different looking game from her this go round. 13 on the game clock as Chelsea Gray working now. Get the last shot. Chelsea Gray taking her time. That one short. Kalani Brown right there, but cannot finish for the two underneath. And it's been all spark. 74 57. And they've been doing it all. Led by Chelsea Gray. 13 points, 10 assists, 8 rebounds. Fourth quarter coming up next. to have a triple-double. Of course, the great Hall of Famer Lisa Leslie and future Hall of Famer Candace Parker. Bad company to keep. And happy birthday to Lisa Leslie. The spark rate, another play that's in the Raptors alongside Penny Toller. Shot no good by Chenea Kumike. As the lights are out to start this fourth quarter from the crowd. And Ariel Powers gets on the inside and has 18. Seven for seven from the field. Five for seven from seven for seven from the free throw line. Five for seven from the field. Ariel Powers has been very efficient. She has. She has given them tremendous production off the bench. Chelsea Gray will get a well-deserved rest. Hopefully that's not the last we see of Chelsea Gray as we're going to see her pick up that triple-double for today's game. What an improvement taking care of the basketball from the first game on the 18th against Washington. 27 turnovers in that ball game, just seven so far this afternoon. Jump ball goes to the Mystics. Kimberl rises up, and that's two. They will not go away. L.A. had extended the lead to 20. And they've got it back down to 13. Sydney Weeks dials up from outside, and you can count that one. Confidence, repetition, practice. Offensively, the team saying we're still trying to figure each other out. We're still trying to understand how we play together and moving the ball as Kalani Brown comes up with the rebound. It doesn't seem like they're hesitating on the offensive end. You know where everyone's cutting. What are you seeing in their offense at this point? Just find the open player. Find who's hot. And a nice pull up by Natasha Cloud. And as you said, Mary, this team will not go away. The other thing for L.A. is they've had 10 different players start. So right now, none of these folks on the floor started this game. But Weiss has started in the past. Beard has started, of course. Cheney. Sydney Weiss, quick release from the corner. And that shot is no good. Natasha Cloud rises up again. Hits every part of the rim. But the one that gets you two points. Sydney Weeks in the point guard position. Something coach wanted to see her do more of in this season. Getting her more ticks as well. 
Marina Mabry dials up from behind. <laughs> Staples center sign. And a turnover trying to get the ball to Kalani Brown. Kalani will be rolling to the bucket. And no help on the weak side underneath. So Shatori Walker Kimbrough with a nice finish at the glass. So that layup, Derek Fisher did not like much. Going to see if he can fine tune that and clean it up on that part. Mystic's not going away quietly whatsoever. And Elena Deladon has not made her way back to the bench after that first minute that she played in the game. Mystics riding a five-game winning streak. Of course, coming off that suspended game in Las Vegas where they had the 15-point lead in half. And then the earthquake. And then the earthquake. Brought a screeching halt to that game. Through a lot of things in Vegas. <laughs> Shanae Gumake finds the bucket again. That's four points for her today. Well run, nice assist from Weiss. Excuse me, Mabry. Mary oh. Powers knocks down her second three and is now at 21 points. Now, I was in Vegas during that game, and not just for the WBA side with Vegas, but also Summer League for the NBA side. Everything was pretty much, we're not going to play through this earthquake. Five on the shot clock as Sydney East tries to get to the bucket and can't. Well, you know it's a big earthquake when you feel it in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Absolutely. The third one within three days. And we keep saying it. The Mystics will not go away. Walker Kimbrough. Little ball fake. Freezes Mabry. Puts it on the floor. Challenges inside. 6'7", Kalani Brown. And quickly, Derek Fisher gets Gray back on the floor. Raquana Williams, Neka Gumake, and Candice. Shatori Walker Kimbrough, 5'9". But as solid as they come with her small frame, not afraid to get to the basket, but it's her hang time that is most impressive with her ability to just pick up the foul and also count the bucket. She had 17 points in the first meeting with Los Angeles. And Neko Gumake shows off her hang time moves and finishes on the left side. But just don't leave the door open because Neka will go through it. with a beautiful touch pass to Christy Tolliver, who finishes with the reverse. Tolliver on the triple-double watch. 14 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. It's been a battle of the guards. Looking at who gets it done. Candace Parker. Fouled by Ariel Powers. Neko Gumake gets popped and then goes. <laughs> it's almost like, really? And then swing it, move without the basketball, brief finish by Tolliver. She knows this floor very she well. She sure does. Won a championship with Los Angeles. 2016. And knows this floor for the Sparks very well. But more than anything, it's just a incredible vet in this league and understands she's a prolific scorer. Try to get in on our pregame show just a little bit. Try to knock you over. Almost had to come to your defense. <laughs> I was trying to establish a wide base for my open. Oh, you held your ground. 81-73. Here in the fourth quarter, approaching that five-minute mark halfway through the quarter. Eight on the shot clock. Cloud looking on the inside. Victoria going against Candace Parker once again, picking up the foul. 
stopping the clock and stepping to the free throw line. I think it's safe to say that Candace Parker doesn't agree with the call. We had our flurry of technical fouls earlier in the ball game. Quiet night scoring by Parker, just three points, three assists, but she does have six rebounds. No, Elena Deladon, she played one minute, did not score, went out with the facial injury. But Washington continues to fight. Not at all surprised by that. Chelsea Green with the ball. Swing into Raquana. Ten on the shot clock. Candace Parker looking to establish something on the inside, and she was wrapped up by Shatori Walker Kimbrough. Well, Walker Kimbrough is like, I, I am in some trouble down here. I cannot guard Parker. Can we bring some help? And she just wraps her up. Got caught on a switch. And there is just four mystics surrounding. Well, what do you do when Candace Parker gets the ball that deep in the paint? Now she knocks that one down for her fourth point for today's game. And knocks down the second, 83-74 for the Sparks. Tasha Cloud. The sense of urgency is certainly there for the Mystics, but what a defensive effort for the Sparks. Chelsea Gray with the ball on the outside. High arch. But that shot is no good. Christy Tolliver working against Tierra Ruckerpratt. And the patent fadeaway for Christy Tolliver. Yeah, Candace Parker's got one on the baseline as well. And Tolliver's. That's just dirty. The shimmy move that we've oh. all seen at some point in our careers. Neko Gumake trying to dial up again. Very close. Great hustle by Raquana to give her team a second opportunity. And she did before the 50-50 ball. So he's going to be quickest to it. And Raquana Williams. So picks up the hustle play. Gets the ball back and knocks down the three, which will then result in a Mike Tebow saying, we got to fix some things on the defensive end. Raquana, three straight games, starting and making a huge difference. 18-19, and so far this afternoon, 16 in the last three games. 16 points for Raquana Williams, four rebounds. But what an impressive effort to get to this point. Which is a beautiful job by Ruff and Pratt. Just feel the pinch, swing it. You bought her a little bit of time, and Raquana Williams doesn't need much. Four of eight from distance. Efficiency. 23 minutes, 16 points, four rebounds. That word that they've been working towards at this point in the season is chemistry. And we've talked with the players and just what they're trying to do offensively, and they said we're trying to understand one another. At this point, with Tierra Ruff and Pratt turning down that shot from the outside who's been amazing from the outside as well finding Raquana that chemistry is now there it really is and the depth nine players have played 10 minutes or more so far this afternoon in this game and that shot no good by Tolliver it's been a quiet night also for Ariel Atkins five points and you can hold your follow through on that one, Raquana Williams. All Nothing but net. Chelsea Gray, one rebound away from a triple-double. And gets it. Triple-double for Chelsea Gray. And can she add on that assist department? Oh, so close. But Neko Gumake cannot connect. Ariel Powers. Okay. Chelsea Gray, the third triple-double in L.A. Sparks history. 13 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists. So the previous WBA triple-double, Cheryl Swoops, 
Margot Didek, Lisa Leslie, Deanna Nolan, Tamika Johnson, Candace Parker. You can add Chelsea Gray to that category as well. When you're looking at what she's been able to do as well as Courtney Vandersloot, Chelsea Gray getting the job done. lead for the Sparks, and you're looking at the corporate right there, who's been able to just get the job done. Chelsea Gray on fire. There's no doubt she's an all-star. 11 assists in this ball game. Finding your teammates just consistently. If you're open, the ball's delivered in stride. Let it fly. One more time. Tear her up and play. You got plenty of time. Knock down that three. Getting the job done for her team. Chelsea Gray taking the ball out. 11 on the shot clock as that ball is hit out by Latoya Sanders. But as you said, Mystic's not going away. How about Tolliver? 16 points, 8 rebounds, 9 assists. I mean, she's right there as well. Raquana Williams rises up again for three. That one short. And touched almost every player for the Mystics' hands before Natasha Cloud cleared out the paint for the rebound. Tolliver. Guarded by Raquana, but gets past her for the finger roll. I love the check by Raquana. He's like, I am not letting you take a three, but then Tolliver with the blow by. Beautiful spin move by Candace Parker. To get the bucket, but Neka Gumake with the high five saying, hey, I got you. And we're kind of forgetting about Neka, aren't we? 27, 29 points, eight rebounds. Forgetting about Neka. I don't know if anybody on the floor can. Incredible effort as she picks up her ninth rebound. We're trying to see if she can get that double-double with a minute and 40 seconds left here in the game. Season-high points for NECA, 29 points in 28 minutes. Candace Parker underneath. The assist goes to, guess who? Chelsea Gray. New career-high assist, Chelsea Gray with 12. Something about those grays. There you go. Impressive effort. 7.7 rebounds. Last assist by Chelsea Gray. New career high. And you can see the feel. Parker's like, the ball's coming, the ball's coming. It's going to get here at the right moment. See some smiles in the huddle there for the Sparks. A minute and 31 seconds left until this game is over. Again, Washington writing a five-game winning streak where they have just been demolishing teams. L.A., a two-game winning streak. And they will head on the road for three straight, including an afternoon matinee on Tuesday in Dallas. As the ball goes out of bounds, but they are trying to see if they're signaling to go to the table to see who the ball went off of. As the lead official, Roy... Goldian is going to take a look at the monitor. A couple stars in the house while we're... Who you got? What stars you got in the house? I don't have any stars here, but I did see Trey Young in the building. But trust and believe, he's not the only three-point shooter in the building at this point. <laughs> Raquana Williams, 5 for 10. Neka Agumake adding five for herself as well. And Ariel Powers, three for three from the three-point line. Ariel Powers off the bench, 24 points in 24 minutes, four rebounds. Really stepping in big time in the absence of Elena Deladon, who we certainly hope gets well in a hurry. They have Phoenix coming up later in the week. While we're waiting.
shooting. And they stand with the ball being out of bounds on the Mystics, so Neko Gumake. Neko rebound away from the hurt double-double. I'm the type of teammate that I just throw it off the glass in her area and see if she comes up with it. <laughs> As Tierra Rucker Pratt said, no, nah, I'm just going to knock down the three instead. How good does that feel? She struggled mightily in the first meeting against her former teammates. Now in double figures, 12 points, three assists. And another three for the Sparks. They enter tonight's match as Ariel Powers gets blocked by Neko Gumake. A vastly improved L.A. Sparks team from the first time Washington played them a couple weeks ago. But Angel List will tie up the season series, and that's important. A lot, a lot of good things for the Sparks. Neko Gumake with the diss from Chelsea Gray. You better get used to it. Neko, 31 points, 10 rebounds. Gray with the triple-double, 13, 10, and 13. Tierra Ruffin Pratt told Kirsten Watson as Raquana Williams comes up with the steal. And that will be it. If they can dribble the ball out at the top of the key, Chelsea Gray just holding on to the ball as time ticks down from 10 seconds. Tierra Ruffin Pratt told Kirsten Watson, this is a redemption game. We did not play the type of game that we know that we can play. Derek Fisher said the same thing. Three game winning streak. They move above 500 to seven and six. Derek Fisher has his team playing well and playing together. Playing together indeed. All starters scored for the Sparks. He had three players off the bench that were able to contribute as well. Big minutes by Sidney Weiss with eight. But unbelievable match by Neka Agumike and Chelsea Gray. As well as Raquana Williams, 19 points, third consecutive game in her starting role. And she's been able to be efficient from the field, getting it done in so many departments. And it's been fun to watch, Mary. And as Candace Parker likes to say, point guard. Point guard. The triple-double for just the <laughs> eighth time in WNBA history. Joining Candace Parker, Chelsea Gray with one of the best games of her life. And while she joins the other triple-double players in the WBA, Kirsten Watson is joined by Chelsea Gray. Thanks, Angel. Chelsea, first off, a triple-double tonight. You guys tied this year. How good did this one feel? Man, it feels amazing right now. Hard, hard effort. You know, the last time they came in this building, it wasn't so pretty. So we wanted to make a statement. I thought we did a great job from the beginning. Um, we have some lows out there, but I thought overall a great win for us. And now you guys are entering the second third of this season. How does a win like this really set the tone of moving forward? Well, it's, it's always great to protect your home court, you know, so we're going on the road. We got to get some road wins here, um, but it's great momentum going on the road and getting these away games. Congrats, Chelsea. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kirsten. Great game by Chelsea Gray. Hats off to her for her triple-double and joining those seven players in WNBA history and also securing the win here at home, 98-81. to 81. For Mary Murphy and Kirsten Watson, I'm Angel Gray saying so long from Staples Center. As we said before, the final score, 98-81 to 81 Sparks Way.